Jeez, Scoob, we can get out of here. Like, follow me, pal. Okay, let's go. Right. Randy! Wilma! Molly! Hey, Scoob! Scooby! Boy, we we do? To see you! Hey, pal! What am I? Chopped liver? <clears throat> Chopped, Chopped liver! <laughs> Careful, Scoob! That vat is filled with acid! Acid? Come on, Scooby! You can do it! We're almost at the end of this mystery! And I've got a plan! Okay, where I come. Ooh. in those vats is used for etching. It was used to make those funky lenses that were in my glasses. This must be part of the professor's top secret invention. Jinkies! And now I know just what it is. The professor was making super real holograms. Like what on earth is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light, Shaggy. Like the creeper from my glasses. Like, wow! So that's where all the monsters have been coming from! Jeepers! Really? Where's no ghosts? That's right, Scooby. No ghosts! Now listen up, gang. I've got a plan. But Scooby's gonna need to keep the Mastermind distracted for it to work. Me? And that will buy us all the time we need to turn the tables on old Fright Face. Yeah! And then he'll face the Fright! Ready, Scoob? Uh-uh! I'm not going anywhere! Well, would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Uh-uh! How about a whole box of Scooby Snacks? Okay! Well, I'm ready! <laughs> Ah, yes! Soon it will all be mine. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is... What? Impossible! How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? I don't know. Well, your luck ends here. As well as all nine of your lives. Well, I think that's cat. Well, I'm not a cat.
to get to the bottom of this mystery. Come on, gang, let's see who the mastermind really is. Wait, Fred, like I think I know who this guy really is. It's that spooky groundskeeper, right? Oh yeah, that's right, blame the spooky groundskeeper. It's always the spooky groundskeeper. <laughs> what do you people have against groundskeepers? <laughs> Some detectives. Why don't you just say the butler did it? But no, it's always got to be the groundskeeper, don't it? Anytime some ghost scares somebody off a well-kept lawn, it's just got to be the groundskeeper. Like we couldn't just put up a sign that says, keep off the grass. Nah, I'll just get myself a big old rubber monster suit. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, Let's see who the mastermind really is. It's, it's Professor, Professor Alexander, Alexander Graham. Graham! Oh, me? <laughs> oh, my. Uncle Alexander? I don't believe it. I knew it all the time. <laughs> Something just doesn't add up. If you ask me, someone's playing a nasty trick. A trick of the light! <gasps> Wow! That was just another hologram. Holly! What are you doing there? Zoinks! But Holly's right! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong, Shaggy. That Holly was just another hologram. The real Holly has been the mastermind the entire time. Think about the clues. Remember how Holly said she followed all of our cases? Only she'd know enough about our old foes to program holograms of them. And I noticed how she passed through that rail near the secret lab. By setting up a hologram of herself when the mastermind was around, she'd have the perfect alibi. But what I don't get is how she got the professor here. In a mastermind costume, no less. Well, that's simple. She used my patent pending, dressed for supper, suck you up her. I spent so much time in the lab that I built a device that could get me dressed and to the front door in seconds. <laughs> that way I can uh, be on time to pay the pizza delivery man. <laughs> exactly. Ruby! Holly must have used it to get here ahead of us and switch places with her uncle. Who she'd already stuffed up there. It was very uncomfortable, let me tell you. Like, and don't forget the most important clue of all, Hollygram. Get it? Hologram? <laughs> Hi, kill me. But why, Holly? Why go through all of this? You guys would have caught my uncle, and when he was sent to jail, I'd steal his super hologram invention and claim I came up with it myself. I would have made a fortune, too. Well, it, it was a good plan. Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if not for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. Huh? Here, Professor, let me help you. Oh, thank you, kids. I don't know how to repay you. Well, all these fiddles are a great start. Hey! Scooby-dooby-doo! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>